God. Okay, the radio, the crew is far from slow. The light's no longer yellow. Ready, steady, go. Crank it up. Crowds all on their feet, not one bothered by the heat. Imagine them in the driver's seat. Check your flag, would be sweet. Break it up! So a championship round of caliber drivers is going at it once more as we are about to put them through the ultimate endurance. Welcome Venom Truck Series to the Hotter in Hell 3675 at Texas Motor Speedway live here on Pizza and Racing TV. Hi everyone, I am the Crusader Chris Strava joining you guys here today live from Pizza and Racing TV studios. We are here in Fort Worth, Texas. Currently looking down on the track and the laying field that we are about to bring and settle on the stage for tonight's May main event. 155 laps to the distance. Hotter in Hell 375 now on the show. And here is your starting lineup for today's action. On the pole, he is the 55. All Ellison is outside. It is the number 15, Ryan Dye. Front number two is John Kay in the two that is outside. And piloting the 12, Jeremy McKinnon. Row number three is Steve Vrooman, and the double O is outside. That will be Eric Breeding in the 26. And row number four is Jeff Langston, the 21 is outside. Chad Stearns in the number zero five. And row number five, it is Brantley Gainey Jr. in the 22 is outside. Will Salamone in the 99. Row number six is Kyle Siddle in the 53 is outside. Michael Dean, the number 73. At row number 7, we see it piloted down by Garrett Rainey in the 17 with Corey Rutherford in the 50. Row number 8 is Pascal Samard Pace in the 76. Is outside, David Fay piloting the 88. Row number 9, Jan Van Leer in the number 5 is outside. It is the Andy Palicki in the 32. Row number 10, Josh Maxwell in the number 8 is outside. Brian Mitchell will be the 78. Row 11 is Kyle Dumick in the 18 is outside. Rodney Roberts in the 28. And at last but not least, on your final starting row, Paul Sargent will pilot the 49 here at the Fort Worth Spe Texas Motor Speedway. Race fans of Texas, you've come in droves, you've come in high, and it's time to bring the speed to alive. It's time for an endurance unlike any other. The truck series will now have to resort the desperate calls and desperate measures to find the leg, to find the speed, to get the best out of their equipment and the best out of their drive. It is time to bring them to the Hotter in Hell 375 starting zone off a of turn number four to the straightaway we come. It is time to let the venom loose in Texas. Green is out. Truck series in action. Chad Stearns, the number 05, right now going to get an early leg up in the Air George machine while he's got Jeff Blanks in the 21 down below him on that Rotella line there. Rotella, number 
on here, making a move early on on Steve Vrooman. Gotta love that name, by the way, Vrooman. Love it. We definitely, we got a very awesome last name. We didn't even catch a ring to it. And if you think I'm making fun of him, no, that's actually his last name, Vrooman. Very awesome name there, if you ask me. It sounds like a Vroom Vroom. You know, the motor on the trucks so there, I love it. Anyway, all jokes aside right now, Brantley Gainey Jr. in the 26. He's going at it right now. They're breeding in that 26 truck. Both guys side by side right now here as an insert coin. 22 gets the bottom lane to work his favor. Takes full control of that drive here. And these guys got 155 laps of the distance. So chasing and timing is going to be very crucial here. You're going to see a lot of guys early on try to maybe stay clear of going crazy. Try to stay clear about trying to go too hard into the throttle. Whereas some other guys may think otherwise and just go for it all here. And that's exactly what we're seeing up ahead. Brian Dye in the 15 already putting a fight there to Paul Ellison in that 55 machine. Both guys side by side battling hard to the corners. Down on the bottom leg here now, Dye getting crossed over there with Ellison, takes full control as the Red Diamond 55 Toyota Tundra tries to hold up Ryan Dye in the 15 Ford, Ford F-150 Slim Jim machine. Looking to be like the Macho Man Randy Savage and have him bite into a Slim Jim around here. Yeah! But that's not quite going the way he's hoping for here as you got John Kay in the two right now, packing him right behind Big DQ number two trying get a run up on both of them but again this is one of those things you're going to see around here all day long it is extremely difficult to get the motor and speed at a certain part at a certain tempo and a certain timing because again we see it all the time here this is where the track starts to really take a wear and tear from the one turn one and two and then of course three and four it's all about just driving a wide open there there's really no give or anything issues there passing here very difficult to do and getting the tire wear to come up well, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do, much less even trying to get the airflow around your truck to work good. Those that try to stay up ahead of the curve and try to stay closer to the drivers are the ones that usually get the most success. That's why you see four drivers right now battling so hard for position, trying to get away from the groups. Jeremy McKinnon right now in that 12, the Okuma machine. We were on board with him just a little while ago, trying to stay right there with K and I. Die giving up some room on the out on the inside. Now it's time for the 2 of K to move his way in as Ellison continues to still struggle with uh, the good traffic. Gremlins trying not to take his truck and his soul away. Is that it? In the back of the pack, though, we see some maneuvers here. Will Salamone in the 99 falling two spots down, but now looking to get back up there. He's going to go one on one here with the Dina drivers himself. Met Michael Dean in that 73 machine. The pace, so it is now Garrett Rainey in the 17. That is actually making some drives up here. Starting to make some swift shifts into the turns and some forward, looking for a little bit more momentum. That's something about Rainey you'll see all day long, too, is just you watch these guys and they kind of get an idea of like what they're after, what their speed and pacing is. You'll see some of them have a very distinctive pace on how they like to drive. Some of them may drive a little harder than others. Some of them are a little bit more controlled, but more subdued, in my opinion. This is what you're seeing right now from Glicky. It's very subdued, a little bit more relaxed. Try not to get too crazy while Rainey, he's trying to do the exact same strategy, but at the same time, he's kind of stuck in the middle of that mid-pack here. And it seems like constantly, if he can't get out of that mid-pack early, he's always struggling to get up ahead later on. We'll see how that fares for him and how that shapes up things for him today. Back on stacked up again here at Tad Sir, the number 05 currently still right up ahead here of the 73 Michael Dean as well as the United you know, Salamone. Keeping his cool, keeping the pressure on. Pressure starting to falter a little bit here. The 99 of Salamone getting some more pressure thrown at him. The dish fish 99 trouble. Three wide off turn one to the two. 
three wide yet again. This time it was Dean and Graney and Felicki at it. Backing them off though, entering into turn number three and four. That's one of those corners you'll see them back off a lot on. What they're trying to do is, is they have to go full throttle on that bottom lane. But if you get stuck on that outside, uh, good luck trying to get your speed back. That's all I'll tell you. There's really no grip when you're on that top side. And that's the sad part about Texas. You know, we've always, we can harshly criticize all we want. But, I mean, uh, believe me, I've done that plenty of times in the show. But one of the things that you do have to be aware of as a driver is the outside line is not an area where you can drive to. Rubber band, that's saying what's going on guys, hope everyone's doing okay, hope well, doing alright on my end. The only thing I'm not having trouble with right now is currently my stream on my phone not uh, letting me watch the race on my end here. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Is it having the same issue with you guys, or are you guys having that issue? I'm not sure. Yeah, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below here guys, if you're having trouble shooting. John K right now, the two trying to move his way back up into the chains and back into the drive. Let's go on board here with K though, give you guys an idea of how to run this track. Well, as I mentioned before, one and two, different banking versus three and four, but the thing is, you got that bottom line to have to work off the corners, then you got to drive it slightly up into the back stretch, kind of get it centered off. That's all about trying to maneuver your way through three and four. Really not a lot of time to get off the gas pedal. You stay more in the throttle and constantly pressure the truck. And as you come off that final sector, just like Sean Lowe's Speedway, you just come right into the tri-oval. Have a little bit of a race out there as well. It's a very unique track and very unique design, but unfortunately it has not been, uh, so I would say, uh, very well resurrected here in the last couple of years. It hasn't really been favored by many of the drivers or fans, unfortunately. Instead of listening to that horrible Texas area, then of course, seeing it live is different than just being there in person, seeing it on TV. So far though, everybody keeping their cool, keeping it clean here. They got everything going here. Right, Chris is saying it's freezing, then taking off. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that either. I have said before, and I'll say it again. We've all we've had issues before with tech with uh with our streams when it comes to Facebook. YouTube doesn't really seem to have that issue, but Facebook has given us troubles before. Technical crew is saying there is no drop in frame rate, so I'm presuming everything still works okay. Side by side right now with Langston here and Jan Van Leer here. Currently both guys going back and forth. Langston and Brady currently in a hot commodity battle here. Jan Van Leer just kind of holding up the back of the pack as well with them. Guys in the back still are getting a little bit anxious, getting a little antsy. They don't want to keep working around here anymore. They want to start building some speed and build up some power and momentum here. Every driver for themselves, nobody giving an inch, and no one giving out just yet. Tempo the pace, tempo the throttle, and just make sure everything works on. Trying to, we are trying to look into what's going on with the freezing issue here, guys, but right now Facebook technical support's not really giving us much help. They're just saying that, uh, well, it really has to be something on your end, which is not, I can tell you that now. Randy Blicky, though, will keep going with the action here on the show right now. 73 Michael Dean, the Dean of Drivers here, currently holding Blicky back just a little bit, keeping everybody's pace and speed on full control. Marching around the track here, dealing with 
with anything they can rip or anything they can come up with here. Even Kyle Zittle will be making a little bit of fight around. Top 10 in a good battle here right now. Salamone and Zittle. Neck and neck with one another though, but it is Palicki that holds a nice spot away. Zittle, remember it was your first time winner of the season here on the back to Tony International Speedway. Hasn't been able to get back to victory lane since then. March up ahead though, every driver for themselves. They know they can't be making too many mistakes or giving up too much room here. As Brian Mitchell goes up the hard way, Jeff Langston jumping right up ahead of him, keeping his pace, keeping his distance. Pass call, Simard Pace in the 76 also doing his thing. in hell 375 continues on here and drivers right now just continuing to move their way to change Pasco smart pace here in the 76 has gone a spot down David Fay has gone one up from him in the 88 and just kind of showing how hard it is just to make a pass around here you really got to go full throttle into these corners and really have to kind of push the other driver off to the side if you can just to get the other to kind of move your way to the chains they're very well aware of that here and that's what they're trying to keep ahead of the curve and trying to keep ahead of the momentum down off the track here every driver for themselves though still Steve Ruman right now the double O continuing to hang on Folks, I think we might be having some technical difficulties here on Facebook, and I'm being told by the producers we may need to head to uh, YouTube. So, if you guys give me about two seconds here, we'll be right back. We're going to go ahead and get the technical difficulty screen up. We're going to head off to YouTube, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 